This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. Congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. On the 29th of September this year, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, will celebrate its 60th birthday. The organization is commemorating these 60 years of science for peace. Sur un document qui devra permettre une poursuite exclusivement pacifique de la recherche scientifique. The theme of CERN's 60th anniversary is science for peace because during these six decades CERN has been always a place where people could work together independent of the culture, independent of the nation. So we are bridging cultures and nations because we are speaking one single language and that language is science. Science is a universal language. CERN was founded in 1954 with the aim of bringing the European scientist together after a terrible time of the Second uh, World War uh, and uh, the aim was to fold. So first to get uh, uh, to build up uh, the center of excellence in science but also somehow to restart contacts between uh, scientists. CERN has come a long way since its humble beginnings in the 1950s. Over the years, a series of larger and ever more powerful accelerators have allowed researchers to push particles to higher and higher energies, opening up new frontiers and discoveries in particle physics. There have been many achievements over the years that have been rewarded with the Nobel Prize. A multi-wire detection chamber that revolutionized particle detection an ingenious technique for the cooling of particle beams, the discovery of the carriers of the weak interaction, and the discovery of the last missing piece of the standard model, the Higgs boson. Also in 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web at CERN, an innovation which revolutionized communications worldwide. With the discovery of the Higgs boson, we are just describing now 5% of our universe. 95% of the universe are the dark universe, dark energy, dark matter. It's high time to enter this dark universe. And I think this is lying ahead of us. 60 years after the birth of the organization, with the LHC to start up next year at its highest energy yet, CERN continues to seek answers to some of the most fundamental questions about our universe. <laughs>